Welcome to this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we're going to talk about how we're going to take this turned part and move it into a mill that has an A axis so that we can do all the rotary machining that we need to do on the shaft. Let's get started. Okay, so here's our lathe part. And let's go in here and let's sim this so that we can see it. We'll just bring it up here. And we'll go through here and uh, there's our shaft. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up and right mouse click and I'm gonna create a facet body. Um, this is gonna be used for stock for our mill. Okay, so we can see the stock. At this point, what I would do is I would save this. Okay, so we could either do a control S, which saves it, or we can go up here, file, save as, and give it any name you like. Okay, so we could do one or two things. Now that we've saved it, we need to get rid of all the laid bits that we don't need. Okay, like the tool paths and the tools. So let's do that. So we're going to throw the tool path away. We'll throw the tool away. And I'm going to go up and get rid of the work group that I used to generate the initial stock for this part. Okay. And I just use the revolved uh, geometry. Next thing I'll do is go up here to the document dialog and I'm going to change to a machine that has an A axis. And we'll set some of the parameters here for milling. We don't need some of these offsets. They were left over from turning. And if we look at this now in an isometric view, you can see that it lays along the ZX plane. Now, what we really need to do is get this onto the XY plane. So, we're going to click on the XY plane here. And what we're going to do is we're going to select all the solid and the geometry. And we're going to go over here. We're going to do something called change HVD. Now, what this does is it moves the geometry, the solids, onto the XY plane, and then it associates the solids and the geometry to the XY plane so that as we're machining in the XY plane, everything lines up and matches. Okay, so that's kind of what it does. So we're just going to do that very quickly. We'll click it, and now it is moved to the XY plane. I'll do a shrink wrap here, and you can see that the part now lies along the A-axis. The one thing I'd like to do is take this geometry, because it's laying on the wrong, um, on the wrong side of the part, I'd like to bring the geometry up along the center line, which is really what we need for milling on this part. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the YZ plane. Uh, we'll select solid in the geometry and we're going to do a 2d rotate and we're just going to rotate this up so that it's along the center line and we'll switch back to the xy plane and everything is good so now we're ready to machine our part so i'm going to switch on here and i'm going to turn this into stock and we can put that away in the body bag for now because we're just going to use this geometry here so let's create a tool. Eighth inch is good. We're gonna bring this down. We're gonna do a little bit of roughing. Here, we're gonna go in and set a clearance. We're gonna set uh, where we wanna start, which will be right there. We're gonna go down 2.3. We'll give it 50,000 step down, that's good enough. Now we want this to be around four times. So we're gonna to go to the rotary tab and we're gonna say, let's do three times at 90 degrees. We're gonna do three times because we already have one here. This is the original. So we only need to say three times. We'll select the geometry and we'll say, do it. And there you have our tool path on the mill.
And if we opsim this, you'll be able to see that we're now cutting the slots on all the sides. So as you can see, in just a few clicks, we were able to take and put a lathe part onto a mill very easily and very quickly. More information on this or anything else Gibbs, please contact your local reseller.